Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 33. Now last week we took our first proper look at the use of autograph in 3D and we looked at how you might set up pages and change axes and all that kind of stuff. And what we're going to do this week is we're going to create a lovely little cube um, on autograph in 3D of course. And this cube is going to be very useful to us over the next few weeks when we come to look at things like Pythagoras and planes of symmetry and vectors in 3D. So let's get our cube set up. Well, all I've done so far is I've cracked open my um, autograph page in 3D and I'm in advanced mode. And now I'm just going to set my page up exactly how I like it. So this key's got to go. Right click, show key, gone. Um, and now I'm going to sort my axes out. So I'm going to hover up here, click on edit axes. I don't really want things going from minus four to four. So I'm going to change all those to two. So I'll give that a little click. And then, Autograph sometimes likes to get a bit too big for its boots and try and take over things. Um, so I'm going to remove its control, put me back in charge, because I want things to stay. Numbers at 1 and pips at 1. Click OK. Let's see what that looks like. Not too bad. Not a big fan of this bounding box, and not a big fan of the numbers on the outside. They've got to be changed. So click on Edit Axes, and I think if I go to Options, remove the tick by Always Outside, remove the tick by Show Bounding Box, and there we go there. Um, perfect. Now, remember, I can spin this round wherever I like, and if I ever get a bit muddled up, if I just hit that button there, I'm back to the start. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a cube. And it's quite a nice question to ask your students this whenever they first meet 3D coordinates, that if you wanted to make a cube, a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube, with its centre at 0, 0, 0, then what would the coordinates of the vertices be? And it's quite a tricky one for them to figure out, especially if it's the first time they've met 3D coordinates. But it has a lovely little answer that links into another nice bit of maths. Because um, it's all to do with the ones. If the centre's at 0, 0, 0 and it's a 2 by 2, it's all going to be to do with ones and minus ones. Well, the x value can either be 1 or minus 1, the y value can be 1 or minus 1, and the z value can be 1 or minus 1. And it's just a combination of all those things. So if the x value can be two things, and the y value can be two things, and the z value can be two things, then in total you're going to have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 vertices. And that's indeed what you have. So let's pop these 8 vertices of our cube on. So I'm going to use my Enter coordinate tool. So my first one is 1, 1, 1. Pop that on there, and that's there. And then it's just making sure you do this systematically. So now I'm going to change my x to minus 1 and keep my y and z the same. Click OK. And so on. And you keep going around until you've got all cubes built up. And in true Blue Peter fashion, or I don't even know if that's on the screens anymore, but we'll, we'll stick with it. Um, I've got all my 8 points on here. Cube points. And there's my 8 points of my cube. Nice. Now, next thing to do is actually join up these points. And now, obviously, we can have a lovely little link if you want into Euler's uh, formula, because we're talking vertices, and now we're going to see how many edges this cube has. So to join up uh, points in 3D, it's exactly the same as 2D. Just make sure you've clicked the two points. So that point selected, that point selected. Right click, and somewhere near the bottom, line segment. And I can just do this all the way around my cube. Select that point, select that point, right click. Um, line segment and so on. I can change the colour of these if I want, just uh, selecting it, going to colour and get them all the same colour if I want. It's completely up to you. And once you've joined all those uh, points up, you end up, I think, with 12 uh, edges and a lovely cube that looks like that. And again, whilst we're on it, a bit of Euler. So we've got eight vertices, we've got 12 edges, and I think this cube's got six faces. And you can con construct as many 3D shapes as you want in Autograph this way, and have a look at Euler's theorem that way if you want, which is quite nice. Well, we're not going to do too much more here, because. Um, but what I'd like you to do is a little bit of homework. Maybe think how you could use this cube to tackle something like planes of symmetry, or something like 3D Pythagoras, or even have a mess around with vectors in 3D. And they're three things that we're going to be tackling in the next few weeks. Um, incidentally, if you're thinking, oh, that cube's a bit far away and a bit small, remember, if we hold down control on the keyboard and just click the left mouse button and push up, then we zoom out and pull down and we zoom in, and we can have a look around that as much as we like. Okay, so there's our cube in 3D. Uh, my advice would be to save that file because we are going to be using it a lot over the next few weeks. Um, I hope that was useful. See you next week. Bye-bye.